Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. In today's lesson, I'm going to demonstrate how you can create a web query and link that to an Excel workbook. With a web query, we'll be able to refresh the information. So if you're interested in getting the latest uh, sports scores, the latest stock market uh, rates, uh, currency exchange, oil futures, whatever it may be, rather than going through and going to a website, selecting information, copying it and pasting it as a static information, we want to be able to create a web query. All right, so let's take a look at Yahoo Finance. Rather than what you normally would do, find information, highlight it, copy it, and paste it, we're going to create a web query. In order to do this, what I want to do as a first step is come up here to the internet address, the URL. I'll highlight it, and I'll do Control-C to make a copy. Now, I want to come back to Excel. I'm going to start this on a blank worksheet. I want to come up here to the data tab on the ribbon and over here and get external data. I want to get external data from the web. Now this is an old-fashioned dialog box and you'll see as I work through the lesson why I recommend that practice of making a copy of a URL, making a copy of the hyperlink to the website that you want to be able to paste. So I'm going to paste that website and then remember to click Go. Now, do you notice these little yellow arrows? They indicate that that is an HTML table. So notice that when I hover over here, I get a blue border around it, and I also get the yellow arrow changing in to a green check mark. So this is the information that I want to bring in. Remember a few minutes ago, I highlighted that, and we did a copy and paste. Well, here what I can do is I can selectively choose the tables that have these HTML tags and decide to import them. So now when I click import, I have the dialog box that says where do you want to put it, and I also have some properties. More on properties in a minute. Let's import this information, and in just a matter of seconds, the information comes in. So now, of course, this is Sunday that I'm recording this, and in the United States, the stock exchange is closed this day. But tomorrow, this information will update automatically. It's a data table. So what I want to do is I want to right mouse click over here, and I can edit that query. Now, again, I'm going to just enlarge this dialog box a little bit. So you see the green uh, checks? Those are the tables that we imported. If I wanted to go back and make any changes to it, well, I could easily make those changes. In this case, I don't want to make those changes, so I'm just going to drag this back and cancel it. Now, I can give you an example of how this information updates. Again, this is Sunday, April 10th as I'm filming this, and it is the final round of the Masters Golf Tournament. Let's see if there has been a change in the leaderboard. So I'll come back here to the Data tab on the ribbon. I'm going to be over here in Connections and say Refresh All. So if there has been a change since I last updated it, we'll see that in a second. Now again, if I right mouse click, I can see the properties over here. And let's take a look and see how we can set up these properties. What I can do is I can have this web query refresh periodically. The default when I check this is it will refresh every hour. In other words, every 60 minutes. If I wanted to have it refresh more frequently, so for example, every minute, I could click there. Now that brings me to another best practice. I recommend that when you're creating web queries that you do them on a separate workbook. So in other words, have a separate session of Excel where you do your uh, web queries because you don't want to have the work that you're uh, you know, focusing on be interrupted while uh, Excel is going out and uh, searching for the latest updates in there. Another best practice I recommend is that when I have sites that I frequently go to for financial or sports information, I put those links to the URLs over here on a separate worksheet called Favorite Hyperlinks. And it's very, very easy to do an update. And let's see how one of these hyperlinks will work. So for example, let's come over here. I want to highlight this, and I'm going to make my copy up here in the formula bar. So I'll do Control-C to make a copy, come over here to a new blank worksheet, data tab on the ribbon, get external data from the web, 
highlight and paste where I want that information to go to. Make sure that you click Go. And then we want to be on the lookout for these yellow arrows. So, for example, if I wanted to see, um, for example, with Major League Baseball, I would click on that tab over there. Uh, if I was interested in grabbing the standings, the rankings, again, I look for these yellow tags. And I can select as many of them as I want in a session. When I'm happy with that, I come over here, click Import. And then I can either make my decision on uh, refreshing and the other properties at that time or come back to it later. In this case, I'm going to just import it. And now I have that information. Just right mouse clicking on it confirms that I have a query over there that I can edit. I can examine the properties or I can decide to refresh it. So there you've seen how we can grab the latest information by using web queries. When we need to have the latest information, information that changes throughout the day, create a web query that you can refresh. And I'll look for you in the next lesson.